saying, you know, I spent all of my time reading, writing these poems in a closet, and I don't really want to share them with you, but the publisher sent me out on a tour. And I can't wait to go home. Poetry is different from the way it is written to the way it's presented. Andrew Titus has started the Stand and Deliver Poetry Workshop. Inside, people are learning to give poetry new meaning through presentation. You can totally make work for you. Nothing like driving your point home, like banging it every now and then. How does poetry educate? Not what does it educate, not what kinds of things do we learn from it and things like that, but in our actual practices of pushing language to its boundaries, and in particular in taking it to the streets and performing it to other people, how does poetry teach us? about ourselves, about our experiences, about our words, about our language, about our culture, about each other. Who's going to volunteer to go first? Bomb. Everyone is getting something out of this experience. Titus will be using this workshop for his thesis. He is studying how he is affected by poetry through teaching. As a result of that, I'm, I'm looking at it from the point of view of, uh, of an educator and saying, how do, how do we do this, particularly when we give the power to the students or the participants themselves, as opposed to me saying, now children, here's what poetry is all about, and you're going to learn it, memorize it, and spit it back at me. I'm, I'm literally participating in the, uh, in the process with them. Yeah. Yeah. Try and put that in friggin' word proposal thesis thing and get it passed by the goddamn board. <laughs> this is the only thing that I have to offer these participants in it is that I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to stand up. I'm not afraid to do my thing. I'm not afraid to shout my poetry from the rooftops. For Stu Journalism, I'm Emma Smith.